Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're checking out MotoGP 23 on Xbox Series X. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, I wasn't really super happy with MotoGP 22, but we're going to go ahead and check out 23 because I think it's made by the same development studio that um that did um that that did 21 and I really liked 21. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, extreme. So that seems new, competitive. Um, uh, you know what? Let's see a track trial. That's kind of cool, track trial. That's the, <laughs> that's cool actually. <laughs> Let's see how trash you are. Whoa, look at the freaking visuals of this thing, man. We are on the jello. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Look at that way that bike. That bike, you can already tell, man. That thing is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see this for a moment. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Wow. This this is actually a definite upgrade visual wise. The Okay, that feels good. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is looking good. That grass looks good. Yeah, this looks way better. Way better. Wow, we might actually have our very first actual next-gen milestone bike game, man. Thick, full, fluffy grass. Look at them trees in the background. Whoa. Gosh, man. Yeah, so, all right. Um... Yeah, this will just take a minute to get used to the, to the to the handling and stuff. But wow, that actually oh my gosh, dude, this looks incredible. Whoa, man, I never thought Mugello did. Yeah, this is good. This is good, good. Ooh, man, this is gonna take just a second. I actually haven't played Moto for for a little while, so. Uh, I mean, if it, it feels it feels good, like it, it just feels like it'll be a little bit, uh, like take a little bit longer to get used to it. But wow, wow, this is beautiful. I will do a Series S video as well on this one. This look at that grass on the hill. I don't think, the, man, I might have to do a side by side because we're we're getting a much better, much better. Like the the bike ride, the rider looks sharper. Everything. This looks this looks great. Wow, the movement. The, uh, the animations and stuff they they always they always seem to be able to upgrade the the animations and stuff um, shadowing under the rider does look a little bit a little bit off um, not not the greatest but not not terrible I mean for the most part wow wow gosh yeah this just looks thick and full visual wise I'm I'm very pleased with the visual um, the overall visual quality of this experience thanks little one. handling i i do i do like this yeah all right yeah this this is good oh man this is good the sense of speed feels a little bit better yeah okay um let's try extreme let's try extreme let's see what let's see how that feels I'm 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 very very curious now to see how how this is gonna feel. But yeah, like right when I loaded into this track, I was like, oh my freaking gosh, this looks incredible. I I I, I am gonna have to pull up like 22 and, and check because this looks beautiful. Oh boy, it it does feel a little more touchy for sure. Oh man, that's uh, shifting. Oh, we're out of the bounds. Ooh. 
I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize it was on on automatic or uh, that I was that I was shifting now. See, I mean, like I would much rather have it on like uh, like where I can downshift myself, but but that's all right too. Oh man, I could not hold that one together. Like this does feel a little bit better, like in terms of like being able to still hold on to it when, when you uh, when you when you come across a corner and stuff. Like it, it does feel a little better that way, for sure. Um, I don't know. I I, I would like semi-automatic. Semi-automatic is better. I like to downshift myself too sometimes. This is good, man. This this looks a lot more clean. Like this looks incredible. Visual wise, looks great. Dang, this is a beautiful looking game. Very beautiful game. Let's see if I can get in there closer on this one. Very, very nice. Ooh, yeah. This looks so good. Um, I think we're going to go with... We'll just go with the competitive. Uh, did I go back to a test of track thing? In session. Yes. Sorry. We're just going to go ahead and select and proceed. Um, rider. We're going to go with... Yeah, that seems fine. Confirm. Guess we could have looked at all of that. Guess we could have looked at all of that, but I'm not going to be cutting anything out of this video. This is like straight on first impressions. Like this is what you get. So 23 loyalty reward. We know how much you enjoy MotoGP, so we would like to thank you for sharing your passion with us. And rider customization, you'll find special surprises just for you. All right, cross network. It looks like. Um, so. The new menu looks looks pretty good. So you got single player. I like that multiplayer. Let's see if there was a customization. So download. Um, let's see, single player. Home. Single player time trial. I was kind of hoping that they had the. Um, I was kind of hoping that they had the. Uh, I was kind of hoping that they had. Uh, Um, well, I want to check out the Honda. Let's see where's. Uh, let's see. Maverick Vinales. Mark Marquez. Yeah. Let's check out this. Beast of a machine. The machine. I like this Honda for some reason. I like the way it sounds. I like the way it sounded in in 2021 like that sounded really raspy and i, I want to check and see like look at this whoa that looks way better way freaking better than it's ever looked wow that is incredibly detailed lots of freaking pixels lots of pixels still like the same animations all of that but wow this is the bike i've been practicing on the most on unlike the other games so We'll give the we'll give the Honda. Oh yeah, you can still hear that thing sounds good. Still sounds nice. Don't really need the little freaking arrow things, but I mean they are kind of cool for if you're if you're just starting out to help you kind of learn your braking zones and stuff. But I don't never really go by those things. If you do that, then they kind of slow you down in in the long run. But yeah, like this is this is good, man. And we'll check out some tracks after this. I'm, I'll, I'll put down like a lap or two, and then we'll come back and we'll do some. Uh... Come back and we'll check out the uh, um, 
we'll go check and see what the track roster is. I mean, it shouldn't be no surprise. It should be literally everything that... See, I like this right here where I've got like the semi-automatic so I can do my, my downshift and stuff like that. I like that a lot better. Ooh, man, this just feels good. See, I'm still, I'm not obsessed, but I love playing them. Almost feels like the... The bike feels a little bit different. You can see like the fins on the back. You can tell that this bike is different. This is a new bike. Look at that. You can see the you can see like the fins on the back right there. That looks cool actually kinda. Let me get around this turn and then we'll stop the bike and we'll look at it. We'll see what we'll see what's new. Let's see if the, the front spoilers and stuff. Ooh man, did you see that? Whoa! This is great! This is nice. Damn. All right, so now let's, uh, oh dang, I didn't want to do that rewind stuff. All right, let's check out some of this. Dude, that is so freaking detailed on those bars. Man, I am super excited. Super excited for freaking Ride 5. Man, if it looks anything as good as this, like, look at the detail on this handle. Ah, oh, man. There we go. Uh, let's see. We want probably this one. What? Why does it keep back now? Got to figure out which one of these is going to be good for me. Ooh, look at this. Dang, that looks so cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I like this. Sense of speed. Ooh. Feels really, really good. I don't know if I like this view. Let's try the. Yeah, I like this one, the one that will go up and down. Yeah, that there feels a little better. This is great. This is freaking great. Man, this is so good. I think I was down there too. I was down there on that one. That is so good. Okay, yeah, this this is great. This is great. So, all right, let's check this bike out. Ooh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Look at this thing, man. So nice. So much detail. That looks incredible. No. <laughs> Get this super chase cam out there. I I really do like that that uh the way that that um that cockpit cam looks on here. Simply incredible. 
this this game is beautiful so much extra detail it's like the shadowing and stuff like that like the tree line out there wow that just looks incredible this is the most beautiful bike racing game i think we've ever seen and if ride five comes in like this with all like look at this man you can actually see actual freaking grass up there in the background you see the grass in the background like that's incredible that's incredible like the the textures and the the actual like road surface right here looks very very nice even them tires actually look okay the cement barriers that freaking beamer behind there looks good i mean the crowd looks all right this is this is beautiful this is beautiful. You see how much detail is in those handlebars, man? My gosh. This is a beautiful, beautiful game. I am very happy with the with this. I, I, I recommend this game just on just on the visual quality alone. Seriously, like you've been playing like some PlayStation 4 and Xbox One games. This is the next this is the next best thing. This visual wise is a, is a significant step up. This looks looks and feels significantly better than any of the other games. This is this is by far yeah, this is great. Ooh, honeymoon phase is very strong with this one, my friends. Very strong with this one. Very good looking experience. I'll get you a few more minutes on this. Alright, let's uh Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go and check out some of the other stuff um continue sorry about the freaking dropping you on your head mark sorry buddy all right let's go all the way up here to um all right we'll just start at mugello okay so we got mugello we got the shashen ring asen that one there's been okay so this soko soko that one looks like it's a new one silverstone's back Red Bull Ring's back, Catalunya's back, um, Misano's back, but uh, I don't know, I don't think I've, I don't think that one was in the last one, maybe. Motogi is back, uh, Mandalika, uh, Phillip Island's back, Chang's back, Sepang, Usail, Valencia, nice, Valencia's there, Puerto Miao, that's a good track, uh, Termas, Austin, Circuit of the Americas. I love that track. Uh, Jerez, Le Mans. Nice. All right. So, yeah, we got some good tracks. Let's see what we got for historic. We've got Argonne. We got BRNO. We got Donington. We got Historial. Historial. Dang. We actually got. We actually got some pretty good. Indianapolis and Laguna Seca. Donington. That's pretty good, man, for freaking historical tracks. Normally only get like a couple of them. What do we get this time? Six. We got six historical tracks this time. That is very that's very good. Alright, um race settings. Let's see what we've got. We got weather conditions. Cloudy, rainy, wet, rainy, uh, tire fuel consumption on or off. Track entry and then balanced performance balanced performance enable or disable balanced performance during a time trial by enabling this setting any bike selected will have performance in line with all the others okay so let's uh let's go ahead and check out um let's let's see silverstone let's see silverstone with the rain that that seems a little bit so I'll I'll, I'll do a I'll do, I'll do a lap maybe two on 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 Silverstone and then we will uh, I'll go ahead and get this uploaded for you guys so you can check this out. This is literally freaking beautiful, freaking beautiful. My goodness! Ooh, look at all that rain, sir. Ah, uh, this one. Ooh, man, gosh, that looks so good. Actually, let's look at it this way. You guys probably want to see this way. You probably don't want to see that. I, I use those those modes for for uh, when I'm uh, uh, yeah, right here. 
Ooh, man, this is slippery. All right, man, I'm probably gonna hurt Marquez a lot during this. I normally don't play this in the rain, but we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot, just so you guys can see how beautiful this looks. My goodness, man. Should put it on easy peasy mode so I can actually drive in the rain. I just had to, I, I didn't realize where I was at on the track at first, but I know where I'm at now. Wow, I want to turn for me. Oh no. Yeah, like I'm not good in the rain. I'm sorry. I am just not that great in the rain. This, ooh, very, very slippery in this rain, man. My goodness, but it looks good. It looks good in the rain. But very, very slippery. We're shooting that, man. See me personally, I wouldn't even try to get on a bike like this in this rain. I just know. Dang, look at those reflections. These reflections actually look really good too. It doesn't. It doesn't have that normal. Uh, that normal break breakup in the reflections. It doesn't look all. Uh, it doesn't look terrible. Honestly, it does not look terrible. Like it normally would on the on the wet surface. It's not all fuzzy and stuff. It actually looks like there's definition in those in those. And those reflections, they actually look pretty decent. I don't think they're ray tracing or anything, but they actually do look pretty dang decent. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not a very good I'm not a very good driver on here. So all right, we're gonna get out of there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up this video. Um, okay, back. Let's go into settings audio yeah. oh not master volume menu music turn that off oh man i probably uh won't be able to monetize this so all right my friends yeah i'm i'm pretty happy with this if you guys like this content don't forget to like and subscribe i'll do some more videos on this this game is beautiful definitely deserves just your attention just because of the new visual upgrade. Very nice. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.